Have you ever heard about ACES? ACES is the short for Academy Color Encoding System. It's the color management and image encoding system that has been developed by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Yes, that Academy. And is the industry standard in film, commercial and animation production. All the products that we all love are made using ACES. If you want to know more about it and learn how to set up your own workflow using correctly the ACES color management, then watch the entire video. I am Chris Espagnolo and this is Pixel Mentor. So let's start with what really is ACES. It's a global standard for managing color and digital file throughout the whole process of making VFX or whatever like visual product. So it goes from the standard like in pre-production and even like in filming until the end of the process and has been created to really um, standardize the overall like management or specifically the color space of the images that we have. Because in the past there was like a lot of like different cameras were using different kind of like sensors like they are still doing now. And all those information were like in different color space and it was very difficult to manage that kind of uh, situation. So ASUS was introduced to standardize as I said the color management but also to maintain the color fidelity at the highest level. The color space or color gamuts uh, with the ASUS workflow it's much wider than the usual sRGB standard REC 709. If you look at this image, for instance, we can see the color gamut and these different triangles represent each and every kind of color space that are regularly used. As you can see, the sRGB standard, that is this little triangle, compared to the ACES triangle, this black one is going way over whatever is visible from human eyes, it's very big. This means that we have much more information to work with when it comes to post-production. So this is one of the main reasons why we use ASUS, not only to standardize the process, but also to have much more richness in color. So as we said, the real benefit of the standard process of using the ASUS workflow is that you can record from whatever sources you want, can be images, can be uh, cameras, regular cameras, can be drone, can be whatever it is. And we can convert all these kind of like different sources using the ACES workflow. We can work all our VFX using the ACES workflow and then we can output those images to different kind of um, media. It can be a phone, it can be a computer, it can be a theater, whatsoever. And also it's very important that different VFX vendors can work using all the ACES workflow, ensuring that we can share asset and information from one vendor to another, maintaining the same kind of quality and the same kind of color space without any problem. So this is the basic workflow where we input our data from whatever source it is. We work it in whatever ACES format we choose and we work our VFX and then we go into the DI process and then we output our images to our client in the highest quality possible. And then we can store the master information always as an ASUS file so we can preserve the much higher quality possible available. First thing first, we should set it up, the OCIO core management. Um, there are two ways you can do it. You can do it per application. So in, for instance, in a, in a Maya, configuration, you go into the preferences, you go into color management, and then you select what kind of color management you want, the path and everything. Uh, but, and these need to be done per each application. Uh, if you want to be sure that you are using the same OCIO, otherwise you're going to use the default one per each application. But in case you want to be sure that you are consistent for all the application, you use the latest one available or the one that you want to use, in my case, 1.2. Um, the other option you can you have is that you can set it up the what's so called environment variables. So you can go inside your system properties and you go and you set it up the environment variables. And inside the environment variables, you can create a new one called OCIO obviously. And you're gonna put like browse the directory where you put like your .ocio uh, config file for the ASUS 1.2. From that point on, when you restart your machine, at each application, you're gonna have automatically set it up, the OCIO, in the proper folder, 
and you're not gonna have like any trouble whatsoever. So if you're gonna update at some point the OCIO environment variables, all the application will automatically be set up to use that version. In this way, you can be sure that you are consistent in all your usage of the OCIO. So as you can see, nothing extremely complicated. All the useful links are in the description. Please leave a comment below and let me know if you found these useful and what kind of content you want to see next time. I'm Chris Espanolo, and this is Pixel Mentor. Happy Pixel.